this question is given that uh, the figure all springs are identical having spring constant k and mass m the block uh, has a mass m the frequency of oscillation of block is so over here the whatever the spring over here given is having some mass <coughs> so we'll discuss if it is a spring having mass how to find out the value of its time period of oscillation so let's say if you are having a spring of spring constant k and length l and consider that uh, this one is in simple harmonic motion so here uh, basically if you are considering different elements that different elements are moving with different velocity let's say the end point is moving with the velocity v but the point uh, which is in contact with the wall will have a velocity that will be equal to zero so the velocity of this one is changing from zero to v velocity different element is changing from v to zero to v with respect to distance so if you are just considering uh, an element small element over here so for the calculation purpose we are just considering a small element over here which is at a distance x from the point where the spring is attached so take, take it as its thickness is equal to nothing but dx mass of the small element is equal to dm and this small element is moving with a velocity take it as u so if this element is at a distance x as we already discussed that this element will move with the velocity v and this point is going to move with the velocity that is zero so we can write the velocity for uh, u that will be its maximum velocity at this point that is v minus distance between them is l into distance between or uh, distance of this point about which we are calculating the value of velocity that we can take it as nothing but uh, x now we can find out so different elements are moving with different velocity so we can find out what about the value of its kinetic energy so we can write this kinetic energy of this uh, small element that we can take it as it is half into dm into that's velocity is u square so we can write that is equal to its kinetic energy we can express half into this dm can be written as nothing but its uh, total mass which is taken as m divided by total length l into width of that small element that is dx into u square so we can write that is equal to half into m divided by l into u square can be taken as v square x square divided by l square so this will get the value of uh, kinetic energy of that small element like that if you like to find out what about the value of total kinetic energy we can integrate on both the sides so integration of uh, half into m divided by l cube uh, v, v square these things are constant so integration of x square uh, dx from 0 to l will get the value of total kinetic energy so if you are finding out the value of total kinetic energy we'll get the answer as nothing but half into m divided by l cube into v square into x can be taken as nothing but x cube divided by 3 the limit is changing from 0 to l so we can write as half into m divided by l cube into v cube into l cube divided by 3 this L cube and this L cube get cancelled. So we'll get the value of total kinetic energy is equal to half into m into v cube divided by 3. So we can just consider that uh, this spring block system can be taken as, uh, can be considered as like a mass m which is moving with the velocity uh, v by, which is moving with the velocity that is equal to this so having a mass that is equal to m by 3 and its velocity over here is v square to you so we can take it as it this one is the total kinetic energy and its effective mass is m divided by 3 so for uh, solving problems we can consider that this uh, spring with mass m can be and a spring constant k 
can be considered as nothing but a spring which is attached to a mass that is equal to m by 3 and spring constant k. So this m by 3 is mass nothing but its effective mass. So in this question over here uh, we can just consider that uh, the first spring if we are considering its corresponding equivalent spring so we can take a spring constant is k and its mass we can take it as m by 3 and the second spring is also having a mass we can take it as m by 3 and spring constant k which is in contact with the block of mass uh, m and another spring also we can just consider that is equivalent mass as nothing but m by 3 and a spring of spring constant k is connected over here so we can just uh, reduce the situation as uh, similar to two springs of each of spring constant k are connected in parallel so equivalent spring constant is 2k and the total mass of the system that we can take it as it is 2m and a spring of spring constant k is connected over here as we know that these two springs are connected in parallel so we can just reduce again this one as a situation in which a single spring of spring constant that is 3k is connected to a block of mass 2m so we can write its time period as 2 pi into under root of m by k over here m is 2m and k is 3k or its frequency which is reciprocal of time period that is 1 by 2 pi into under root of 3k by 2m that will be the value of frequency of oscillation.